The turkey is a large bird in the genus Meliagris, which is native to the Americas. Males of both turkey species have a distinctive fleshy wattle or protuberance that hangs from the top of the beak called a snood. They are among the largest birds in their ranges. As in many galliforms, the male is larger and much more colorful than the female. Taxonomy Turkeys are classed in the family of Phasianidae, pheasants, partridges, francolins, junglefowl, grouse, and relatives thereof in the taxonomic order of galliforms. The genus Meliagris is the only extant genus in the subfamily Meliagridina, formerly known as the family Meliagrididae, but now subsumed within the family Phasianidae. Extant species History and naming Turkeys were domesticated in ancient Mexico, for food and or for their cultural and symbolic significance. The Aztecs, for example, had a name for the turkey, Wueh Zolo Tl, Guayolot in Spanish, a word still used in modern Mexico in addition to the general term pavo. Spanish chroniclers, including Bernal Díaz del Castillo and Father Bernardino de Sahagan, describe the multitude of food, both raw fruits and vegetables as well as prepared dishes, that were offered in the vast markets tianguis of Tenochtitlan, noting there were tamales made of turkey, iguana, chocolate, vegetables, fruit and more. The ancient people of Mexico had not only domesticated the turkey but had apparently developed sophisticated recipes including these ingredients, many used to this day, over hundreds of years. There are two theories for the derivation of the name, turkey, according to Columbia University professor of Romance languages Mario Pei. One theory is that when Europeans first encountered turkeys in America, they incorrectly identified the birds as a type of guineafowl, which were already being imported into Europe by turkey merchants via Constantinople and were therefore nicknamed turkey cokes. The name of the North American bird thus became turkey fowl or Indian turkeys, which was then shortened to just turkeys. A second theory arises from turkeys coming to England not directly from the Americas, but via merchant ships from the Middle East, where they were domesticated successfully. Again the importers lent the name to the bird, Middle Eastern merchants were called Turkey merchants, as much of that area was part of the Ottoman Empire. Hence the name, Turkey cocks, and Turkey hens, and soon thereafter, Turkeys. In 1550, the English navigator William Strickland, who had introduced the turkey into England, was granted a coat of arms including a turkey cock in his pride proper. William Shakespeare used the term in Twelfth Night, believed to be written in 1601 or 1602. The lack of context around his usage suggests that the term was already widespread. Other countries have other names for turkeys. Many of these names incorporate an assumed Indian origin, such as Deek Hindi. Indian rooster. In Arabian countries, Dinda. From India. In French, Induska Indiushka. Bird of India. In Russia, Indic in Poland, and Hindi. India. In Turkey. These are thought to arise from the thought that Christopher Columbus had originally believed that he had reached India rather than the Americas on his voyage. In Portuguese a turkey is a Peru, the name is thought to derive from the eponymous country Peru. Several other birds that are sometimes called turkeys are not particularly closely related, the brush turkeys are megapodes, and the bird sometimes known as the Australian turkey is the Australian bustard, Artiotis australis. The onhinga, onhinga, onhinga is sometimes called a water turkey, from the shape of its tail when the feathers are fully spread for drying. An infant turkey is called a Chick, Holt, or Turklet. Human conflicts with wild turkeys Turkeys have been known to be aggressive toward humans and pets in residential areas. Wild turkeys have a social structure and pecking order and habituated turkeys may respond to humans and animals as they do to another turkey. Habituated turkeys may attempt to dominate or attack people that the birds view as subordinates. The town of Brookline, Massachusetts recommends that citizens be aggressive toward the turkeys, take a step towards them and do not back down. 
Brookline officials have also recommended making noise, clanging pots or other objects together, popping open an umbrella, shouting and waving your arms, squirting them with a hose, allowing your leashed dog to bark at them, and forcefully fending them off with a broom. Fossil record A number of turkeys have been described from fossils. The Meliagridina are known from the early Miocene c. 23 MYA onwards, with the extinct genera Remenornis, early Miocene of Bell, U.S. and Proagriocharis, Kimball Late Miocene, early Pliocene of Lime Creek, U.S. The former is probably a basal turkey, the other a more contemporary bird not very similar to known turkeys, both were much smaller birds. A turkey fossil not assignable to genus but similar to Meliagris is known from the late Miocene of Westmoreland County, Virginia. In the modern genus Meliagris, a considerable number of species have been described, as turkey fossils are robust and fairly often found, and turkeys show great variation among individuals. Many of these supposed fossilized species are now considered junior synonyms. One, the well-documented California turkey Meliagris californica, became extinct recently enough to have been hunted by early human settlers. It has been suggested that its demise was due to the combined pressures of human hunting and climate change at the end of the last glacial period. The Oligocene fossil Meliagris antiquus was first described by Othniel Charles Marsh in 1871. It has since been reassigned to the genus Paracrax, first interpreted as a crassid, then soon after as a bathornithid cariamiforms. Fossils Meliagris sp. Early Pliocene of Bone Valley, U.S. Meliagris sp. Late Pliocene of McAsphalt Shell Pit, U.S. Meliagris californica, Late Pleistocene of SWUS. Formerly Parapavo, Pavo. Meliagris crassipes, late Pleistocene of SW North America. Turkeys have been considered by many authorities to be their own family. The Meliagrididae. But a recent genomic analysis of a retrotransposin marker groups turkeys in the family Phasianidae. In 2010, a team of scientists published a draft sequence of the domestic turkey, Meliagris gallopavo, genome. Used by humans. The species Meliagris gallopavo is used by humans for their meat. They were first domesticated by the indigenous people of Mexico from at least 800 BC onwards. These domesticates were then either introduced into what is now the U.S. Southwest or independently domesticated a second time by the indigenous people of that region by 200 BC, at first being used for their feathers, which were used in ceremonies and to make robes and blankets. Turkeys were first used for meat by Native Americans by about AD 1100. Compared to wild turkeys, domestic turkeys are selectively bred to grow larger in size for their meat. Americans often eat turkey on special occasions such as at Thanksgiving or Christmas. The Norfolk Turkeys in her written memoirs Lady Dorothy Neville recalls that her great-grandfather Horatio Walpole, 1st Earl of Orford imported a quantity of the American turkeys which were kept in the woods around Wolterton and in all probability were the embryo flock for the popular Norfolk turkey breeds of today. Gallery References External links Meliagris at Curlie View the Melgal 1 Genome Assembly in the UCSC Genome Browser